other document where all we need to do again the follow the same process and we will see how it goes okay so we will follow everything step by step and I will let you know okay great so let's start so first of all as you as you see that the starting process is starting again from sales for CRM side so let me just do that real quick so I come over here so the first step is to we will change few process automation settings so I'll come over here so here we need to check if default workflow user is empty so if it is empty we need to choose our admin user or the tracking user so right now I, I just have one so I selected this okay and all I need to do is to click save I'll stay ignore as of now okay so this was the one of first step now the second step is pretty interesting and you may be wondering that okay why we need to do that but uh, actually there is nothing much you need to do but this is still uh, I would say uh, a necessary step uh, so uh, all we need to do is just open this and click save there is no you need not to change anything but it is for refreshing few things from the backend so that's it and uh, then we need to modify few page layouts because as I told you we will send an email then I would like to show you the tracking data so that tracking data and also the email sent thing uh, we need this uh, certain fields or certain buttons at our page layout so uh, since we're going to use uh, for this purpose a contact one of contact so right now I'm modifying a contact page layout later on you can do the same thing with other uh, objects as well so right now let me just quickly modify this contact thing okay so I'll go to contacts I'll open page layout and so I'll use uh, okay well let me use uh, this one okay so let's see how it behaves so I click on edit okay so first thing first I need to uh, fetch few things okay da -da 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 -da. so email sense this is one of the thing I just pick this up then definitely individual uh, email results so that is called IER where you will see your tracking data and then from visual first pages we need to place contact action so this is also a very I would say important one so I'll put it somewhere here okay okay I believe that that's all we want and I'll just click on save okay or let me do one more thing however that's not necessary but uh, this is a field this is not necessary but uh, actually it would be great to have it over here uh, but definitely it's not necessary this is this is useful for you to understand whether this contact is uh, has opted out of for receiving any communication so I'll just click on save okay I'll say yes okay so we had done this now as a next step we need to more uh, update the field level security so again I'll go to contact thing as of now so right now we are just uh, doing everything in form of uh, contact so usually this field email opt-out which I have dragged right now uh, doesn't have permissions but in order to send emails and all things uh, definitely uh, the oh sorry my bad uh, I need to click on that email opt-out so I need to click on this and then I'll need to go field level security because that's what we need to modify so you can see that it's not visible to any of those so right now I know that uh, I have I, I'm working on this profile so definitely I just choosing this one but yes so our easiest way to is to visible to all but that's up to you like that's just something which you can decide later on I just click on this and I will make sure that from view field accessibility at least a uh, view access should be there so email opt out and yeah you can see it's hidden 
so okay right now it's at a table okay great so that's all uh, for this part now we can start proceeding uh, to set up marketing cloud thing so first thing first there is this plus sign you can click on that as soon as you click on it it will show you this one tab marketing cloud please click on that as well okay so this is the first thing which it will ask you if you had followed all the steps correctly so definitely you need to click on verify and press ok okay and here it is showing you that how you want to set up your marketing cloud connector so if i'll do manually actually manually will also uh does the same thing but there if i need to uh, check everything read everything and then i need to give my consent on every step so right now it is for demo purpose so i'm just doing automatic setup and if everything goes fine then we will see a uh, last configuration summary uh, screen but let's see I'm clicking on a start wizard and it would sa say yeah so or whatever it will ask you all you need to do like next next and done so here we need to do a few more things so it will ask whether we have taken care of this all of these things or not but we do uh, so as I told you we have done this thing you may have remember uh, on the on the API user on the market on the administrator user we have given these two permissions set we have changed workflow we have defined a user of it and IP address actually I do relax so right now we need not to worry on this so I'll say I agree and I'll say configure and we can sit back and relax for a while because it will definitely take a while okay so as i told you if everything went well then definitely you will see this window and all i need to do is to click okay and here we go and this is the final step which we need to take in order to just start using it so you need to click on connect to marketing cloud and here it will ask you your marketing cloud api user credentials so if you remember uh, when we had created that api user so definitely keep a keep a note of it what the username and password you have given because that's here we, you need to enter it enter of it so let it just uh, load and it will take a while okay great okay uh, so, oh my bad actually uh, it has taken one of different user because I believe there was a active session from my side oh my bad I'm so sorry let me just uh, take one step back give me a one moment let me log out from that user as well okay just one moment give me a few moments okay guys so I have logged out from a um, different account so since this is already showing it is it has already taken it so what you need to do is to actually click on uh, this change API user thing okay so this is the one one more I would say uh, a step I will give you maybe by mistakenly you will also land up into this problem so click on that and click again to connect to marketing cloud yeah here here it will ask my username and password so I do remember my username which was web underscore API and next and it will ask my password so I do remember my password as well okay this verification email so I have given my official one so let me quickly go over there okay so I had received this verification code I'll click on verify okay it will ask you a few security questions because this is the first time I'm logging with it uh, you can okay I can hide this so let me give me a moment okay so I have just entered 
the information what was asked and here it will show you this screen okay so here we also need to do a few modifications such as definitely if you want to send out an email so I check this box uh, most of the settings you can leave empty but right now I'll choose the target audience like to whom I can send this emails and uh, if you also want to add exclusion you can define it but uh, right now our purpose is to send so I'm not going into that part <clears throat> Okay, enabled objects you can definitely use. Uh, you can choose few objects out of it if you want to. Uh, the majorly we use account, case, contact, and uh, like plenty of it. But I'm just choosing few just for the purpose. You know, for uh, like where exactly I can put, uh, I can send trigger sense and all. Uh, okay, notification. So this email is actually beneficial if there is something goes wrong with your connector, so you will get notified at this email. And uh, for tracking, you can right now I'll choose that uh, tracking at every level, uh, but that depends. Uh, you can define the tracking frequency that you want it at hourly basis or daily basis. That's it. Uh, campaign member tracking is also can be enabled, but I'm not. I'm going over there as of now and I'll just click save okay so here we go okay so it is updating Okay. So once that would be saved, then it will ask you to choose the business unit where exactly right now you want to get this integration works. So uh, in my marketing cloud right now, I have only one business unit, but maybe who are working in marketing cloud, they know they can create uh, several child business unit so right now I can hover over, over here and you see only one MID is here, but it could be more in future so uh, that's up to you right now I'm just uh, selecting this one only because as, as, as I told you I only have one so I click on this and save and I would say if you have done this then congratulations connector setup has done so as a next step as I told you we are gonna send an email and we will see how it delivers